all that day at school, I tried too hard to concentrate on what the teachers were talking about. Mr. Siam even asked me what was wrong. Nothing, I mumbled. I couldn't sleep last night. You look very pale, Dash, he told me. How could I tell him I had a visit from a bleeding hand? I just smiled and said I'd be better tomorrow. How was I to know that the next day I'd feel even worse? The bus ride home passed like a blur. Nothing seemed real. Dina looked very tired too. And to make matters worse, she kept staring at the blood stain on her notebook. I hope the hen does not come back tonight, she whispered. It won't, I gave her what I hoped was a smile. I think we kind of imagined it or something. She shot me a look that said I was feeble. After dinner, I waded into my homework. It was awesome. All those questions. Yuck. By the time I got changed and slipped into bed, my brain was spinning. The darkness swallowed me up in a deep sleep. It must have been well after midnight when I heard it. A kind of swishing noise, like a sword slicing through the air. Swish, swish. Only it wasn't a sword. It was the hand. It was the hand flying around my room, blood dripping from its wrist, or from where its wrist had been. My eyes were darting everywhere, trying to follow the swift, slashing hand. It was making me dizzy. Who are you? I yelled. What are you doing? Where did you come from? What do you want? But no answer came. Again and again, the hand flashed towards me, sweeping down faster than anything I'd ever seen, striking the air like it wanted to kill it. Swish, swish. I draped the sheets and dragged them up around my chin. The hand was everywhere, flying through the air, leaping and dancing through the darkness, leaving little trails of black drops floating in space behind it. And as I watched it, the most hideous thought burst into my mind. Suddenly, I knew what it was doing. It was exactly what I'd been learning at my last Kung Fu class. Trusting fingers, I cried aloud in shock. A laugh broke out across the room, striking, striking a chill through my body. And from... Somewhere behind the hand, I heard a man's voice, deep and strong, shouting into the night. Buji, the trusting fingers of death, the voice told me. The spear hands that will destroy our enemies. Dash Lai, you know my name? I gasped. I know all my pupils, said the voice, for I am the tiger master of Shaolin.